Hey everybody, it's me, Chuck, and we're back for more Chuck's Raw Reviews. Raw Reviews. Um, so glad to have you guys here. Really excited, as always, just because I'm a pretty excitable dude, actually. And uh, it's been a little bit. I know this is uh, number seven, I think. And uh, yeah, it's been a little bit, been super busy. Uh, reviews is something that I do <clears throat> to show any comics, showcase uh, any comics that otherwise people wouldn't see. Um, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that I'm an indie comic writer as well. And um, I'd like people to do that for me uh, one day, hopefully one day real soon. Um, and, you know, you, you can't, you know, I, I, we can't just expect people to do that and not do our part. So, this is me doing my part. Um, showcasing stuff that people otherwise might not have heard about and actually that brings up a really good point about today's book which is called Blue Shift let's do this there we go Blue Shift and um, it's uh, it's not one that I had ever heard of before it came way under my radar and actually what ended up happening was I you know as always when I put out these videos and stuff I tell people hey if you're interested um, let, let me know and, and I'll look into it and this guy Ed Jowett uh, hit me up and said you know what my books don't get talked about and he has a bunch of books he sent me a couple and this is the one I like the most and this is the one I decided hey I'm gonna do some work on so I'm glad to, to offer that for him and to anyone else to help out. It's not like my name is going to get you way the heck out there, but at least people get to see it, get excited about it, and, or, or at least it gets on their radar, you know, and, and they now they know that stuff and they, they think, oh, hey, I, I heard about that. So Blue Shift, let's get into that one. Blue Shift is a female uh, superhero and we, I've talked about that before, superheroes, not necessarily what I'm aiming for as far as my own personal uh, preferences are. However, I enjoyed it a lot. It was really funny. And uh, there was a lot of depth to it, actually. Um, layers, which is really important to me. Uh, it, it wasn't just a go out there, kick ass, and take names. She had like a real... She had like kind of a fun... Peter Parker, Spider-Man sort of sense of humor to her. She's a, uh, a speedster, but um, not... <sighs> Speedsters can get very frustrating. I'm not a Flash guy. I watch the TV show and stuff, and I've kept up with things, but honestly, um, it's like, oh, hey, he can go super fast. Let's give him random things, like he can shoot lightning and, I don't know, uh, go back in time. Let's do that. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, okay. It's uh, In time travel also, not my thing. Uh, mostly because I find that when time travel is your main issue, usually you end up basically saying, oh, yeah, um, the big bad happened because we time traveled and now we have to fix it. So you become your own worst enemy, which is nice thematically, I suppose, but it's tired. So, anyways, getting off on a massive tangent, Blue Shift <laughs> is none of those things. Blue Shift is just a speedster. She's great. She's a lot of fun, but there's some heart to her, and there's some serious diversity to the character, to the the cast as a whole, to all of it. Um, I, I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I, I was excited by um, the fact that we get in right away and you go, okay, there's the good guy, there's the bad guy, all right, fine. And then you find out really quickly, no, nah, the bad guys aren't really bad guys, they're just good people who are forced to do stupid shit. And uh, it moves on through there, and, and we get a lot of that kind of back and forth, and um, our, our hero is very fallible. I'm a big fan of fallible heroes because... Um, I feel like myth when it when it builds up someone to be um, larger than life, then it, it it loses that depth. It loses any sort of reality, and I think it's important that we all recognize that even the heroes in our own lives, those people that we've looked up to, 
they can be assholes. They can do stupid things. And, and it's important because I'm a nice guy. I, I try to do nice things. But I'm not always nice. I can be an asshole. I can do terrible things. And I would like people to at least, you know, examine me fairly when things have moved along and be able to say, oh, you know what? Um, overall, he was better than bad. <laughs> and, and that's definitely something that you can be said for Blue Shift. Um, definitely better than bad. A lot of fun. Um, there were some really cool moments. I want to see if I can find some here for you. Uh, that I was I was personally excited about. We we go into like a little bit of her um, life and all that, and uh, you know trying to date, and um, and then we go we go into the the early term baddies. And actually, this was my favorite moment right here. It's just, just this. All right, let's see if you can, can you see that? Yeah. And I just really like the simplicity of that. And uh, just, just the beauty of it. it. It's something that's been used before, but when used properly, it, it just really tugs on the old heartstrings. And so, um, I think my favorite thing about this was that it was funny, it was heartfelt, and it really made me want to keep changing the page, keep turning the pages, and keep, and keep looking. And uh, certainly, when you have a, an incredibly attractive female as your main protagonist, you think, oh, okay, it's going to be over-sexualized. And it really wasn't. And, I mean, let's... I'll get into it, right? Um, spoiler alert. But um, uh, the main character, Beth, seems to be either lesbian or um, bisexual. I'm not 100% sure there. But um, you certainly could have had some fanboy bullshit happening with that. And they didn't. They, I felt like they treated it very well very decently um it didn't come off as as some great reason just to have two chicks semi naked together um and i don't even know that we really got we didn't really get that so uh yeah definitely um a lot of heart so me i say at least give blue shift a check out let them um step out of the obscurity that they're worried about and uh, really, really show it off because I think what Ed's got going on here is really cool. So, as always, I would love it if you went down below, you subscribed, you liked, you shared it. Um, check out our other my other videos because uh, I've been able to work on uh, and review a lot of great books. And I have my piles getting bigger and bigger. I have so many books that come in from... Um, from Kickstarters and all that kind of stuff. And I think it's important that even if you don't do something like this and you don't show it off, it's important that you at least talk about it. If you liked something or, man, even if you didn't necessarily like something, it's important that you tell people. Just get it out there, you know, the message. And, um, yeah, just, just support. So thank you guys. Support Blue Shift. Check out what they're doing. And uh, support us here at Chuck's Raw Reviews. Can't wait to talk to you guys again. And as always, peace, love, and comics.